I'm so excited to present to you this latest update to Precision Gears, the rigging update. If you don't know what Precision Gears is, once you've installed it, you press Shift A, go on to your mesh add menu. Here you'll find Precision Gears and there's a whole bunch of gears here. Part of this update is GT2 gears as well as much better worm gears. Just to show you, we're gonna click add a spur gear. You'll see that there's no way of editing this. The way that it works is procedural and parametric. So you go here to the object properties and you'll find it right here under precision gears. I'm just gonna move this all the way up so that we have it there at quick access. And the first thing you're gonna see for those of you that have had precision gears before, we now have presets. So click in here, pick one that you like, apply it down, there we have it. We have a lovely gear now set there, but you know what? I want this gear to actually have a set screw and extrusion to it. I already know that I have a preset that has that over here. So you know what? I'll turn that right here. I'll have that bore with that extrusion, that lovely set screw, apply that, and that is the preset system in a nutshell. There is also the lovely search function to go through all the presets, and there's presets for all of the gears now. And you can always go in here and create your own presets as well. Now that we know that in a nutshell, I'll press G, press Shift Z, move that up there, press Shift D, move that there. Let's just change this to some other random gear. Let's make sure that it changes everything about it. There we go. And now let's talk about the actual rigging system. We'll click this lovely gear here. All we have to do is go scroll down to the bottom of this. So I'm just gonna close all of these here and you'll find the rigging option. Turn that rigging option for the core driver of the entire gear chain and that there is now an instance of that gear. So this gear is quote, the real gear. This gear here is the instance gear, the fake gear. So what we're gonna do is say, hey, I want this gear to be driven by this other gear. So again, we're just gonna go down, go to rigging. We're gonna go, hey, I want you to be driven by this gear over here. We'll turn on the rigging and that's pretty much it done. However, it's pretty set that this gear is not gonna work out at all. That's a herringbone gear and that's a normal spur gear. Well, I wanted to show you that all you've gotta do is click match driver. And then once you've done match driver, that's it pretty much sorted. Let's add some animation to this. Here on the state length, this is how many frames it's gonna take for the core driving gear to do one resolution. So I'm gonna go 150. We're gonna use the time so use the timeline, I'll hit play, and there we have animation now going. Now there's so much more to this, but for that, let's go and dive into all of the other gears here. So I've got a whole bunch of other ones already set here, so let's dive in. This here, we're gonna go with the rake, rack gear, we're gonna turn on the rigging, this will be our core gear to start with. I'll rotate the instance in that direction here. I'll grab this spur gear, and I just wanna show you that by the way, spur gears do need to be quite special to interact with rake gears. So let's go turn on the rigging, tell it to be rigged to that there, and let's take a look at what's going on here because we'll see that that is not meshing up very nicely. In fact, even if we did go back to this and said to do an intersect solve, it's still not gonna mesh nicely. We've gotta make sure that we match the driver and then we'll be able to do an intersect solve and that's gonna turn out perfectly there. So now that we've done that, there, let's go ahead and add that height once again to this. So I'm gonna go make sure I have this gear selected. Then I can go to the parameters and change the height back to 100 millimeters. But you know what? In the rigging, I want to do a parallel offset. I want this to be closer to us over here. And I also want this to be tangentially higher up. And then I'll make sure that I intersect solve that. Perfect. Now let's get that lovely internal gear into this. So I'll turn on the rigging, make sure that I select what exactly I want it to be rigged to. I'll do a tangential offset up in this direction there. Make sure that this is now all working nicely. That is looking good there, I'm happy with that. And now let's do something a little bit strange. We've done rotational based rigging, what about compound rigging? Now if you have no idea what compound is, don't worry, I'll explain it right now. This here is one of the new GT2 gears. I'm gonna say, hey, the way that I wanna rig this is by our compound connection 
to that really tall gear there. We'll turn on the rigging and now we've got to push that offset so that it comes out of that gear. And that there, right here when they're touching, that is a compound connection. They're going to be compounded together like so. And why not? Let's go and grab this little GT2 gear. Let's do a normal rotational connection with its other GT2 gear. We'll turn on the rigging. We'll turn this angle round over to this side over there. Let's create it, give it a little bit of a distance offset. And all this is already ready for animation. We'll just set the length here to be 500 frames. I'll set my timeline to be 500 frames long. We'll say use the timeline. We'll go all the way from the start here. We'll click play and that is the animation already going. Let's carry on getting crazy here. Let's get this gear here. Let's go and turn this into a compound connection with that GT2 gear. Turn on that rigging. Go on, put an offset up there. The keen eye of you, by the way, might have noticed that these three gears here, they are all four millimeters and all the other gears are three millimeter modules. I just wanted to show you how we can now mix and match modules and the, all the equations basically get sorted out. So now let's do and get this gear here. Let's just do a normal rotational rigging right there. Let's move that angle offset over in this direction. Let's do a little parallel offset. No, not parallel offset. Let's do a tangent offset up a little bit. Let's do something a little bit strange. Let's grab this bevel gear, make it compound to that other gear that we've just rigged up. Let's turn on that. Let's put that offset upwards and well, let's might as well do a bevel gear to bevel gear. That's how you do these. By the way, crown gears are now supported as well. Just be aware, crown gears are pretty complicated beasts. So be aware that they are there, just very complicated. I'm still getting my head around it. So we'll turn on the rigging here. We'll make sure that it's doing a bevel connection to that other bevel gear, and we'll do an angle change. Let's go over here. Now let's go really crazy. We're gonna do a compound connection with a worm gear to a bevel gear. I will flip that round. We'll set that offset over here and then let's get this gear here. Let's do a normal rotational connection with this worm gear. Turn on that rigging. We'll do a little parallel offset in this direction, but obviously those are definitely not meshing together. So we're just gonna say match the driver up there, make that an intersect solve there. But hold on, I want you to do an intersect solve of everything. Well, just click the all, do an intersect solve of our all, and there we have it. It is now all rigged up. Let's hit play, and there you have it. The animation is now done, dusted, and sorted. And yes, all of this is parametric in nature. We can go back to this gear here. We can say, hey, you know what? I actually want this to be a 45 tooth gear. And there you have it. You might need to go back in here, do an all intersect solve, and then that will do it, and it'll fix it all up. But there you have it, that is all of that. Now there is something a little bit special that I wanna show you. Actually two special things I wanna show you here. We're gonna change this back to, let's put it all the way down to 25. I wanna create another gear here. So let's just go shift A, we'll go to mesh. We're gonna to go to precision gears, add a spur gear. I want this gear to be rigged up to that internal gear. I can leave the animation going and it'll to be totally fine. I'm gonna move this angle offset all the way to there. It's obviously not rigging up, so I'm gonna say match the driver, and I want you to do an intersect solve. And I've decided that I actually want all the rest of this gear chain to be on there rather than where I have it right now. All I have to do is go to that GT2 gear, say, hey, instead of being on that spur gear, I want you to be on this spur gear. We'll refresh the rig, and that's how quickly that is to change. The only other thing we've got to do is on this offset, we've got to push that offset back up like so. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is all of this here, this is instant space. So if we select it and we hit tab, you're not going to be able to get into it. That is all sort of the animation rig. So you might be wondering, well, what happens if I really want to get my 3D cursor right here in the middle so I know that exact position of all of that? Well, just go to the gear that you're wanting to, go all the way down to the rigging, and here you'll find cursor to rig, and it will take your 3D cursor to the center of that rigged gear. And that applies for everything. On top of that, through popular 
request, we have now also added attributes. So if you want to see the addendum, the dedendum, the tooth depth, and all of that, the pitch circle and all the numbers, it is right there as well. And this is one that I truly, truly love, which is because these are instances of the gears that we have down here, well, that means that we can now use modifiers with them. So I'm going to go, let's add a little Suzanne head here. Let's put that to 25. Let's rotate Suzanne so that it's in the right direction. So we'll go 90 degrees in this way and then rotate it on the X by 90 in the other direction. Move you to a position that I quite like. And then I'm just going to use a bool tool. Remember that's in the add-on preferences, add the bool tool modifier, modifier add-on. So then you can just press control numpad plus to do a brush boolean. And if we look up now, there we have it. Suzanne is now on a gear. This means that you can add an axle to your gears or anything else. You can add holes, spokes, you name it. You can go and just go nuts with it really. So just to show you, we'll go to this gear once again. I'll move my 3D cursor to the selected. I'll press shift A. We'll go mesh and we'll go to cylinder. I'll create a cylinder, I don't know, a radius of 10 by a length of 100 and that'll do. And then I'll press G, Z, move it up a little bit. Then I'll take this into edit mode. I will do a loop cut like so. Let's select a couple of faces right here and I'll extrude those out like so. And now I'll just grab this, grab that, control numpad plus, and there we have this super strange axle has now been added to this gear. So there you have it. That is the rigging system. That is the main key differences here in precision gears. Everything else is also so much more robust. The mesh is better and all the rest. But now let me show you a couple of other examples. So things you can do, planetary gears. They are a little bit tricky to do. So just be aware that you do need to know the exact ratios and calculations and the pitch angles and all of that. I am working to get this actually implemented into precision gears, hopefully in the future. The plan is to add a whole bunch of like pre-made rigs but that is just something I just honestly, I can't afford right this minute. So hopefully you guys like Precision Gears enough that you want to go and buy it. And then if you want, you can give that extra little bit more to help with the development of it. Other things you can do, because we've got that lovely Boolean option, you can do things like this. So this is a very simple iris setup. All of this here, these are just shutters that have been Booleaned to the gear. We'll go to this here. We'll go down to the state here and you can see if we rotate that, how this lovely iris just goes, opens and closes. It is just so much fun. In fact, let's go and turn this into an animation. I'm gonna animate this by 1500. We're gonna tell it to use the timeline and here we have it going, opening it up. Oh, I just love it. It's just so much fun to watch. Such a complicated rig, just sort of getting done instantly. You know what, let's make that faster still. There we go, we'll set it to 500 and it's just, it's mesmerizing to watch and there's so much fun to be done here now with precision gears and oh, it's just brilliant. Other things you can do is because we have all of that lovely Boolean workflow, you can just create all of this here and then this will create you an actual rigged box. So we'll go here, we're gonna change that state, we'll change the state to open up and there we have our lovely little opening box. And in fact, that is a 3D printable project that I've done right here. Let me just get you up here in front of me. So that opens it up and closes it down. That there is the Precision Gear rigging update. I am truly so happy that it's finally out. It's been over a year in development and Oh, it's just brilliant to see that. Remember that if you want to support this project and you already own the add-on, I would love it if you'd consider repurchasing it or by all means you can support me over on Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, a massive thank you to my patrons. Without you, I truly would not be able to carry on development of Precision Gears. It means the world to me and I cannot say it enough how much it's helped and thanks to you guys we're able to make more precision based tools for blender and i cannot wait to see what comes out next thank you so much for watching 
I truly am so enamored to see what you guys are going to be making with precision gears and what I'm going to be making in the future. If you haven't seen it, I created an entire laser cut gearbox to test out precision gears right at the start. That's going to be linked down in the description. And if you want to find out more about precision gears and all of the other updates that have come out, the toothy update and the original update, they're also linked down in the description or the cards. So thank you for watching. Keep making. I let the quest continue.